Give me a second. Okay. Gotta find my three. Let me get white coat. Doesn't look like that'd be okay. Don't it? Mm hmm. You ain't low. Uh, just busy as usual, thinking about how having mixed freaking genes does weird things to you. Like this weird tuft of under under the lip hair that doesn't grow evenly. And it's all wispy. Well, I mean, how about all of a sudden the quick gray? I don't go gray. I mean white, don't you? Do I have a single gray hair? Oh no, this one's better. Uh, looking for thread to go in there? Mm -hmm. None of that would have be would even be necessary if the people who made the dang pants didn't uh, screw up when they made that seam, uh, when they joined that seam. But hey, could be worse. Could mm -hmm. have been an actual tear instead of just could a be seam. Where I, can't, I can't fix it. Yeah. But that's not true. I can. Yeah, my ratty uh, wear around the house shirt with the old uh, ancient faded out grease stains from forever ago that never will wash out no matter what I do. They just fade slowly. I figure one day, like after like years and years of washing the shirt, the stains will finally disappear. But it's probably because the shirt will be about ready to disappear. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, you also start new reaction videos with another introduction. So, well, at least another hello to the audience. So, uh, hey, guys, uh, welcome back to my reaction channel. It's Reverse BLT here, and I'm joined once again by my mom, Mother of Bacon. Hi. And uh, we're watching The Expanse, Season 1. This is Episode 2, which name I can't remember. But and I, I am also sewing. Yeah, she's also sewing. because uh, That's what I like to do. So, uh, episode two. The name is Davidson, Stephen Davidson. The Big Empty. Yeah, episode two is called The Big Empty. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it because after episode one, uh, you really don't have enough information to really start speculating on what's happening yet. You know, but, um, Mom will just say that, you know, they shouldn't have answered that distress call. And that's basically about it. That that's one guy name. shouldn't have answered that distress call. <laughs> his name his name is James Holden. And um, he's a uh, quixotic hero. This is my quest. I'm like that guy, that Spanish guy. You know, he fought the windmill. Don Quixote? No, that's not it. What's his name? The man of the Mancha. Forgive my mom looking down a bunch. She's uh decided she's going I to am actually sewing. start sewing and stuff while we're doing this. So um I am a multitasker. She's really not, but hopefully she'll be able to keep her eyes on what's actually happening here and uh you know I won't have to double back and explain a ton of stuff to her. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this season one, episode two of The Expanse, entitled The Big Empty, or also known as The Plot Thickens. Okay. <laughs> Sci-fi original. Not anymore, you're not. What's your name? Ade. I'm the new navigator. She was navigating something in the last one. Ha <laughs> ha! Dangly parts. Yep. Space is a dang extremely dangerous, terrifying place. Now wouldn't that be something if it just sucked right on out? <laughs> yeah, I, I was reading something where it's talking about like uh how it's sucked like, right on out. Explosive decompression, like you see in movies, most movies isn't really nearly as big no. of a problem as as you would think. See, the thing is he went through because he answered that distress call. But you're out of another move. Look. Scary move. Uh. How dare you, sir? But the, don't don't talk about scary movie in the same breath as a great show like The Expanse. <laughs> Some people will agree a scary movie was kind of great. It was funny. 
But just wait till she tells them that you wouldn't want to answer that distress call. You do not lose that ship. Go get him. Don't do it, Alex. Uh-oh. They just dusted 50 of our friends. Oh, okay. Okay. Only, Only 50? Fine. That Alex, makes sense, actually. I'm telling you to go after that ship. High technology. So who are you? You shouldn't answer that call. It's like what bill collector. You don't recognize the number? That Leave it alone. Oh, this is an important character trait of Goldman. <laughs> Trying to stare her down. This whole like need to pursue justice. She you know, got balls. Because, because think about it. What was he going to do? He didn't a know. Highly technologically advanced stealth ship that just blew up their their main ship with five nuclear. That's missiles. just it. He didn't know what he was going to do. He was going out there on emotions and yep. half cop and go get the rest of the five people killed. Now it's got to suck. We run out of water before <laughs> we've actually managed to wash all the soap off you. A lot of guys go through that when they're shaving. Uh, are you sure about that? Water means life. One ship might live, you got protests. Two ship might live, you got dead people on the street. And it's gonna get worse. Mark my words. Mock his words. It's a conspiracy going on. You notice that he that he pays uh, people on the street to make sure that he knows what the scuttlebutt is. I don't know. Christ. Person had three locks on their door. He One. just broke the law. I never broke the law. No, that's why he, he used his own his thing the the security thing to open it. He just broke the law. I am the law. This is Juliet Mouse place. Oh, it's that's why he investigated yeah, this. Purview. How come he don't have nobody with him? Father, father. Because it's off the books, father, remember? Father, you know how I many people father, go father. missing in America? And they going through all this trouble. Copy all five. Copy all five. Well, this diplomat door. What is that? Inquiring minds want to know. We want to know. And you choose to live like some filthy handmaid among the riffraff of the solar system. <laughs> <laughs> you have no intention of returning home. I'm forced to consider selling the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks? Okay, remember all those videos we saw of her Please. celebrating and stuff? Right. Uh, Juliet Mao was a, a, a racer of uh, high class uh, turbo ships, basically called Venices. Right. The Razorback was her, um, her, racing, baby. her racing ship. If you want to take yourself State of the art, very expensive. I don't care about being your child. You can't buy me off or control me anymore. She mad at you, Dad. I don't know what you think. I know what you think about me the most. Better remind you of yourself. I knew she was gonna say that. But look, he's. Ah, she got plenty of water. And ninety-seven percent clean. No, it's just ninety-seven percent of the ration. So she's barely. She's still got almost a full ration of water. And why she got all that water? She has an electronic animal. That that. That a uh, hamster is not real. Rich people are getting away with everything up in space too. You know. So this is number two on, in the Earth government. So he's Christian's boss. When the Secretary General has publicly disavowed gravity torture, if you want to talk to that doctor, you put him in the tank. Hmm. So what do you make of you the little face look? That she made? But you notice how it was like partially proud, or like you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like just irritation; it was also like a little bit of pride. She there's wanted to do that. that. There's, no, 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 there's reason for it. You'll see later. No, I doubt that. I'm giving you the impression that I'm afraid. Then why waste your time on a meaningless query like myself? That is a good question. Don't forget, you have a child too. <laughs> so, what did you think of that conversation? It was very civil, Chess. even though there was a lot of. Uh, We've got dead radio and about threatening. Oh, Chess. It was still very civil. Your life's done. Dead yeah. doors go. And what's about the ship? <laughs> you out of your tree? We'll lose all oxygen in the cabin. We're gonna die. I don't, I'm not ready. Are you okay? Hey, 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 h
get all, uh, I think he got a little irritable. And anyway, who do you plan on contact? They just got all the people killed. They're hoping somebody will come along and answer a stress call just like they did. I know, ironic, huh? Also, if they're on the edge of the shipping lanes, eventually someone's going to pass them just because they're basically next to Ohio. Huh? So hopefully they're just yeah, hoping that someone will so pick them up. Yeah, it must be See, I'm looking because I'm like, you know, <laughs> he probably thinking a whole bunch. Uh, I should have answered that distress call. He's trying to make it right. <laughs> he's not making it right. No, he's not trying to get some water. Yeah, water. You notice it's water and not wine, right? That's how valuable water is out there. Some rich asshole. A week ago. Oh, no, he didn't. Well, you seem sure it was Belters. The criminals here tend to be. Because they're the poor. Criminals tend to come from the poor. You're new here, aren't you? We'll get right on that, sir. Maybe if everyone in series had this view, they'd respect it more. Hmm. I was right here, Arthur. <laughs> so you don't know how things <laughs> are done. He gave him a yeah. chance. Now you can make your own view. Asshole. I don't think he likes you. <sighs> that guy they were talking to, I'm pretty sure, is also an Arthur. Because he's one of the rich people in the series. And most of the rich people in the series usually are Earth or Mars. Oh, shit! <laughs> <Dumb>. <laughs> oh, boy. Good belter always carry a spare. It comes from later. Someone says that. Good belter always carry a spare. It's probably because I have also lost stuff. Yeah, it's easy to lose. That is what hypoxia looks like. It's like being drunk. Oh, he's having a hard time. Alex! Alex having a problem. No, he's not doing too good. He's lying to you. Oh, shit. Why are you thinking about it? Naomi wouldn't like it. <laughs> he keeps saying that. You like Naomi. Amos is a very interesting character. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's wrong with you? How long can he hold on? Not that long. Especially now. Yeah, he started vomiting. He's, he's in bad shape. He's starting to get to the turn, to the end stages of it. Starting to panic. Look, help the man. I wouldn't be wise. About the only option you get, though. No, but. I mean, granted, it you know, means that he now has a, a lot less of a supply than he did before, but. Right. Come on. But he really just needs to, he needs to stretch things out long enough for them to finish the work outside of the ship. So they can the guy just lost his day on ranch. Yeah, but like I said, good belt oh. carries spare. Did you see anybody with a spare? He was probably at the spare. He knows that he was going to lose his mind about the fact he lost that wrench. Wait a uh, minute, see, we're not speculating here. Yeah. So what do doctors do when you're in a situation like this? That's why you should always have spares. <laughs> But, hey, we well, they didn't expect to be. No, know. of course not. But that's why you always have spares for the stuff you don't expect to have. Now would be a good time to fix whatever it is. Hey, hey that's what I'm talking about. Hey, it works. It works a lot. It's one of those phenomena that I don't think anybody ever actually has ever actually understood, but it does work in a lot of weird situations with computers. You hit them, and they suddenly work again. What's really weird is when it works on something that doesn't have moving parts. You know, like solid state stuff, you smack it, and it starts working. Like, dude, why did that work? There's nothing in there to shake loose. <laughs> now they can restore oxygen. Huh? I said, now they can restore oxygen. They're back inside, and they've got everything sealed up. They can restore the air from the uh, tanks. 
inside the ship. But uh, Alex, I mean, uh, not Alex, the doctor passed out. He's uh, not breathing. Might be okay. But everybody makes it in the show, just so you know. In every show I watch with you. <laughs> yeah, doing it. Do you deny it? Now you're down to four because somebody answered the call. But we won't say who. <laughs> there we go. No, just take a moment. Yeah. Oh. See, I didn't give up on oh. you did. Now you're down to four. See Amos looking over at Naomi. What the hell did you do to me? You, you tried to give you tried to resuscitate you. So you gave up on him, I didn't. We do CPR. We do CPR right in the breaking a rib with this wish I gave the person. Uh, yeah, because of you. You see Naomi looking at him, right? Boy, she want to tell. Like, tell Naomi. It's like, all your fault. Well, of course. I'm saying it's all his fault. Everybody who's watching saying it's all his fault. Around we will right. forgive him later, but right now it's all his fault. You're two heartbeats away from running the government on this planet. Yet you're uh -oh. accountable to no one. How does that happen? Yeah, how is that? Isn't here we said, right? Understand. If Earth can't afford to and complete codependence, develop stealth weapons, what we'll makes you think right? a bunch of rock hoppers can't? Used to ball on Mars. Why not? It's so always, belt. always <laughs> underestimate yeah, people. The belt, the belt is much poorer than Earth, so he does have a point. But then we know what she said, though. They can't they unless they found like a new benefactor it's like Mars. I'm like. afraid Heaven help your enemies, Christian. Hmm. Huh? What did you guys do to Mars? You must have done something. Mars was an Earth colony, just like you'd expect. You worry. Yes, it is. Reminds, reminds me of Babylon 5. Something new. Reflection. Surprise. Terror. For the future. One reasons why I think you'd like the show is the political intrigue power. element, like that one. Uh, Which I'm missing, by the way. An hour air they brought it on on uh, Comet. <laughs> Nine o'clock every night. We're gonna need a shitload of power. Well, like you said, Naomi, the captain. I'm sorry, does anyone need a backup, sir? Yeah, Captain. Captain, 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 <laughs> Go ahead and tell. It was him. I'm surprised people haven't figured it out yet. Why would they? Well, he can not look at her as the captain. He said they kind of sarcastic. Why did you wear your colors like that on the open? As one just like it. You see the Miller just realize one from that conversation, right? You see his face? Well, I want to know what the little tattoo I told means. You, OPA, Outer Planets Alliance. So. It's what, the, it's what Christian thinks that that developer she's interrogating is part of. It's an organization that's supposed to be to help uh, promote the. Uh, well-being of the people in the belt, but Earth and Mars consider them to be a terrorist organization. Think of them as like the Palestinian Authority or Hamas. Amateurs. No, I don't want to think of them like that. But that's kind of like what they are, where they see themselves as freedom fighters and working to make a better future for their people. The people outside of them see them as terrorists. Probably would be believable if they make a better future. Oh, I get what you're saying. Hmm? But people always die in revolutions. Look at that d dirty, muddy water they're drinking. See, this is, this is what the guy was talking about. So these guys are stealing the water to feed the plants. Just so they have something to drink. No, they want to sell it. Oh, he was just drinking it. Yeah, he was hey. testing it. It's like, you, mean, you know how it is. You can always test your product to make sure it's good. Don't get high in your own supply. And he just spilled a bunch of it, trying to get away from uh, Miller. He's probably literally that bucket was probably worth several, like several thousands of dollars. Or what they call sprit. That's everything you got. <laughs> He's beating his own head up against the wall. Pick all the pockets you want. Old trunks, 
you mess with the water, that's when you're going down. <laughs> Do what you gotta Sound like a <laughs> yeah, young punk doesn't know shit. Uh oh. You don't look nervous. Dude, I just saw that look on his face just now, didn't you? Stay away from the aqua! Tell all your friends! <laughs> I did not see that. What do you do, tag them? Yeah. Like this. You see that coming? <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> one thing that every every new cop has to learn. Is that you Madam, don't, you don't bust everybody. Nope. There's been an incident on the Need some day. people. Let's go on. The prisoner, Haki Sabon, took his own life by avoiding the high gravity injections from his crash couch. It appears he broke free of his restraints during the critical phase of the attempt when she he was with the no, he so. injections. She had sent him up to the moon Madam, for deeper interrogation. Speak frankly, please. Earth's gravity. We used it to hurt him. He threw it back in our face. <laughs> So, you mad at them for something? The ship that attacked the camp was attacked behind an asteroid. It was hiding in plain sight. Yep. It stole the ship. Well, they knew because of who the ship would have wanted. Because they can. You don't know what you're trying to be there. The, hell the, the thing left? they found with the Scopuli was, was a state of the art Martian transmitter. What about Mars later? Well, <laughs> I guess I'll leave it at now. It's time to go home. Pop a cold beer. Wait to be rescued. No. Dude, we've been watching two episodes of this. Now you see that that is not the way it's going to be. <laughs> now there's a girl I'm not going to forget anytime soon. Scopuli. Don't be old transport. No cargo. Just this young lady and a few crew. So the ship manifests with you and transponder laws, etc. She's up for the trouble. I'm sure it's not that she can't handle. Mm. He's a little too dull. <laughs> you think there might be a conspiracy happening? Who knows? I mean, with this oh, show so What you doing, Holden? What are you staring at her for? He knows she's going to tell. He's scared. Everybody is sort of sitting there. They're on waiting. Little, they're on little ways of handling the uh, waiting. Tension. Well, Amos, I think, also is noticing condensation in places that shouldn't have condensation. Alex. Oh, so he's the mechanic. Yeah. So Naomi. I am learning, everyone. Yay! Naomi's an engineer. Amos is a mechanic. Are they coming? Just waiting for the mass pack. Alex, pilot. There's nobody going to answer any more distress calls after what happened. Well. <laughs> maybe yeah, not who you just, want. They just got something. Oh, maybe not who you want to answer. New vectors received. So they were told to redirect their own course. But who answered the call? They wouldn't be out there if you didn't answer the call. See Alex's Shit. face? This blows. Uh oh. What's wrong with that? The Donager. Oh. The flagship of the Martian Navy. Oh. They scared of the Martian Navy? Pay attention! Remember the, the transmitter they found that they took with them off the, off the decoy ship was Martian. Remember? High tech Martian. And Mars is known to have high tech stealth technology. And the ship that they were the the, the killed the Canterbury was a stealth ship. But they wouldn't be there if Holden didn't know answer the call. And so now they send out a distress signal and who, who notices the distress call in response to They were already there. It's freaking Martian. Not just a Martian ship, but a Martian the battleship. Flagship. Not just any old Martian battleship. That's right, the flagship of their fleet. And why are they out there? Patrol? Maybe not. Yeah, right. A flagship? Come on, man. Flag, flagship patrols. The flagship is on rotation. No, it is. Flagships don't just sit and dock. No. Flagships are on rotation. Flagships are out there for exactly what they're out there for. No, flagships are engagement. Flagships are for looking at. They're 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 symbols. 
You know what I mean? Which means they're normally in. Okay. We've had, that's who we got the cactus from. Remember oh. the uh, hooker from the first episode? Yeah. Oh, did you see that? I didn't know you knew her like that. Did you see the, how the water bent or the alcohol bent as it went to the to the cup? That's because of the spin rotation. Remember I was telling you how the series has gravity because of spinning? So you have to take that into account when you pour a drink because it'll it'll spin with the spin with the rotation. So it's not going to pour like it does here on Earth. Oh, so now he's going through uh, this dating thing that Julie was signed up for, looking for clues. Like he's basically hacked into her account. So she accepted a date with this guy. Why? Oh, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> You're a, Why? You sure know how to pick him. <laughs> no, it had to be a reason. Why did it look like her? The last arrow spin? Uh, if you say so. Because mixed people uh, tend to look a little bit alike, even no matter really what they're mixed with. You know, so. Stop breaking! I think a rich girl like her would have had that breath. Really. <laughs> That's right. Birthmark. It's a woman's thing. That's a scar. I think she wanted it fixed. A reminder. Oh, it's a badge. It's a fine. It's... Against everything that she's supposed to be. She and he did try to use on me to see the bond. No, we can do that after the episode. Okay. Okay. I should be doing yeah. that in the middle of the reaction. Why not? We're doing all sorts of stuff. You gotta think see, about... we do all sorts of things. Uh, you know, we are multitasking people. There's no such thing as multitasking. Look, that's what I say. You know what happened. We get on that ship, the chances are we have to come down. Huh? The glass. What? what are you doing? Buying us insurance. The exotic hero. My name is James Holden. Speaking for the five survivors of the Canterbury. Our ship was destroyed answering a bogus SOS from a ship called the Sky Fly. We recovered a false beacon that identified it as Martian naval technology. It was a trap. Are you We're about to be taken aboard the Oh, Alex, shut him down. Lock him down. Lock him down. Shut your mouth. Speak, bro. We intend to cooperate. Call us this man from over the arms. Should I smoke him? Hey, somebody's planning on shooting you. <laughs> you better hope Naomi don't say shoot you. Any such action. Oh, I confirm that the Canterbury was destroyed by Mars. It just needs to reach one ship. One station, then they'll spread. Can't hurt. The chairs were arranged. <laughs> yeah, I like I love this shot. Nice little for nice. scale kind of thing. <laughs> they they just pulled in their little ship. Look, they just gonna grab one to the claw. And I think they grabbed them a little rougher than they needed to because of that message. What, they gonna drop them? How do you drop they gonna take in them in. They gonna take them in and then drop them. Oh, uh, I was wrong. I would have. How? They're in space. It, well, they've done a whole bunch of other stuff in space. How do you drop? How do you just? I mean, what, you know, there's no down in space, right? They've done a lot of other things that they in space. Oh shit! <laughs> you are prisoners of the Mars Congressional Republic. Moment you die. Don't breathe. So, what do you think of episode two? Any, any, Holden is still stupid. Any theory, any updated theories about what's going on? or No. Still not enough info? <laughs> no, it's a lot of inf information. Right. My mind is always moving. Like you know that. 
You know that. I mean, I pay attention to what happened in the first episode. I just saw him make a fool of himself again in the second episode. So what do you think will be he the result come. of uh, sending out that message? Do you think that, uh, because here's the thing to think about. Mar, the, uh, the Donagers, they were inside the Donagers jamming range. But that didn't necessarily mean that the Donager had its jammers active. I think that so it was what premature. Think, what do you think might be the result of it if it, if it got out? A war. I think it was premature. A war between whom? Whoever. There are people in the why Martian would Earth, people. Why would Earth be go to war over this? I'm not sure yet. The, I'm the, still trying to figure this out. The Canterbury was a private. Was it was a ship that was basically servicing the belt. Now, granted, though, it was going to Ceres, and Ceres is an Earth uh, is under Earth jurisdiction. So maybe that could spark a war between Earth and Mars. Well, there seem to be some underlying problems, just like yeah. <laughs> if you well, look at tensions. America. There's tensions between. The, <laughs> there's some underlying Earth. problems. There's tensions between Earth and Mars, definitely. And, and the belts are usually caught in the middle because they're too weak to really stand up against either force. I think we think they're weak. Yeah? <laughs> and I like that. The, you think the OPA has uh, got some stuff up their sleeves that nobody knows about? You know, uh, I'm trying to remember the show. Um, there was a line in a show. And... Um, don't mind me picking my eyes out there, YouTube. It just I, there was a dirty. there was well, I'm gonna pick all sorts of things. <laughs> that sounded dirty. Yeah, I'm gonna pick my hair. I'm gonna I'm I'm pick my hair. eyes. I mean, I'm thinking about cares about you picking your I hair. I pick my eyes. I started to pick my teeth, but I couldn't find my dang one. What you call? But two picks. I got them in that drawer right there. Um, so please don't do that on. I was camera. thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I mean, I figure we're inviting gross. them. I figure we're inviting <laughs> oh them into yeah, they really me are, watching. They me, really are being invited into into it. My normal, my normal pictures. watching something with you. Okay, well that's true. Usually they have to sit and watch me eat. They have to sit what and mean watch. Usually me. they have to. This is like the first time you. Well, no, but I'm saying if you mean usually I have to sit. Well, I'm eat. saying that if they were, you know, if this was a normal. Where we both were sitting together and watching something. I do all sorts of things while we're watching it. That's true. <laughs> so, but anyway, so you, you were saying, so it uh, reminds you of a show or whatever. But there there was a show where, you know, usually I can't remember the line. And I can't remember the show. It's going to come to me, I'm sure. But when I, when I think about the belters, why would anybody want them to think they're strong? Well, I mean, there are things that come along with being strong. Remember, like, why did India and Pakistan want nuclear weapons? Well, no, I am sure that, you know, there are because things being that seen come... being strong makes you an equal. People have to take you seriously. As long as the belt... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. As long as the belt is seen as weak and ineffectual and, and fractured into different factions and all this stuff, who takes them seriously? Why would Earth or Mars give a crap what the belt says? Or what the people at the belt say if they're if they're small and weak and easy. Wasn't and wasn't the guy uh, that uh, took his life a belter? Did you hear? Yeah, you remember yeah, he, his he, dialogue he, with her? He threw he threw it back in her face like and this thing you used to hurt me. I just used to hurt to hurt myself. You can't hurt me with it. What did what did um her response to him imply that he is very well versed? He's a very good adversary. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, she recognized, that so, she, had, uh, she recognized that she had underestimated him on a certain level. And I guess that's my whole thing she with is, the belt. She is thinking about what the implications might be for the That rest is of the my whole thing. With One thing you'll, you'll appreciate with Avasarala, she is very, very astute. Of course she yeah, is. She's a very shrewd woman. And so she's, Remember what the guy said. Everything I don't happens, understand. She calculates. It goes into her calculations. Well, he said, I don't understand how you don't need approval or appointment oh. to do certain things. No, he was things. saying she doesn't she has no accountability. None at all. Yeah. So <laughs> and she was also never elected. Like so she's number three see, in the entire government has never been elected to anything. So <laughs> so and that's impressive. How, would that how did happen? she rise to that level? How exactly how would that happen? Never elected either not you accountable know, to anybody. The it, 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 almost impossible to get rid of. <laughs> well either you know something is on people. Black male. Where no one's going to question you. You know, things like that. It, it, it gives you a lot of questions, but I say don't underestimate the belters. I would say that's and a, I would, a I would say thing, that sir. if anyone, and 
I believe what uh, they just did with the um, <laughs> Holden had made two mistakes. He answered the distress call. Mm -hmm. That was number one. They got all the other people destroyed. <laughs> now it's only five of them. Mm -hmm. And it was almost four. Yeah, yeah. Shed so almost it was bit almost it. four. Shed almost bit it. So all of a sudden, the uh, the Martian, well, I guess you could say their, their grand ship. No, their, their flagship. Their ceremonial ship. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. The but, Doniger is, No, it's a warship. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, a warship. warship. No, but... It's no you, longer state of the art. No, but, but usually... Uh, usually yeah, what, the flagship is very... Is, is, isn't going to usually be a weak ship. It's no, but usually, more powerful ships. Think but. about it for a minute. Usually, we, like I put them on flagship. The Constitution. Well, I put yeah. it on the same same. Um, this, no, I'm thinking as far as think about the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. They're um, they're banned. Okay. They are the elite. They've been in movies. Oh, everything. I get what you're thinking of. No, yeah, okay, but well, that's a different, so this different is, type of ceremony, it's like a re, you know what I mean? It's like, like a retired, go, it's like a retired But it's not, ship. when you're dealing with like, you know, actual naval fleets, the flagship is a, is a ship in service, typically. It's a ship in it's service, ship but it's usually ceremonial. It's the ship that carries, that ceremonial, ceremonially carries the banner of the fleet, but it still is an active duty vessel. That's it's an active duty, out of date vessel. Usually, well, it's usually it's state one of, of the art ones, at some point. But like, one of those know, ones. One of the those Donager, ones. The Donger was state of the art at one I'm point. I'm sure at yeah. one time. But it is aging at this point. But it's not super out of date. But see, it's the there are more flagship. Ships, ships, though. It was one of the best ships mm -hmm. that came out at its time. Yeah. So. And it's the name of an entire class, so it's like other. There are a whole bunch of other ships based on it, so it's the Doniger class, but it is the original, the Doniger. But just the fact that this guy just sent out a distress signal, and it just happened to be picked, and up everybody's having a problem. There's tension in the air in regards to Mars. Yeah, Mars and Earth. Yeah. So, if you jump the gun with a message like that, just like you jumped the gun and answered yeah. the distress. Like I said, quick side of I hero. Think, I think I'm going in the in the right direction when I'm thinking about his character. Hol Holden's Don Quixote. He basically but, he's uh, like he, see, he sees some windmills in the distance that he needs to rescue a princess from. But, <laughs> but what he needed to do was he needed a little bit more information before he decided to send that distress call. Now I may be wrong. But no, here's the thing. This is regardless where of I what, believe it's going. Regardless, <laughs> regardless of what's actually happening, I would agree with the statement that Holden oh, excuse me, I dropped my three people. needed a little more information before making that call. Um, so I'll agree with you there. Regardless of what's actually occurring, regardless of how right or wrong he might be, he, I think he still definitely needed more information before making the call he made. And, you know... There, there, he jumped the gun there, with that one. There may be consequences. <laughs> I don't think there may be consequences. I think there will be consequences. So uh, next episode, we're going to get a little bit of a look at uh, at Mars. Or at least not not Mars the planet, but Mars the faction. Because um, that's what's been missing so far. We've seen the belt. We've seen Earth. Now we're going to get our first look a little bit at Mars. Well, I think there will be consequences for this call that he just made. Now mark my word, people. All right, so well, you know, I you heard it from me first. Yeah, you heard it from her first, guys. That's her prediction. So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, call it on this episode. We're gonna see you guys on the next one, and uh, peace out. Say bye, mom. Bye bye. Bye, mom. <laughs>